We're continuing our lesson in discussion settings in this video, and we left off with moderation in our last video. Moderation can be a major task, especially on large websites with lots of hits. WordPress can assist us with this a bit, but there's still a lot of work to be done. You can force all comments to be moderated before they're published, and auto-publish comments posted by a user who's been approved before. When starting a site, it's probably best to force all comments to be approved. Once you start getting some real commenters instead of spam bots, you can check comment author must have a previously approved comment. That way, the people that you know are good commenters can publish their comments immediately. This can take a ton of work off your shoulders when it comes to comment moderation. The next section allows you to define the behavior of the comment moderation system that WordPress can do automatically. You can flag any comment with any number of links as spam that must be moderated before being published. You can also add words to a blacklist. Any comments containing words specified here will be automatically marked as spam and will never be published. Again, as you see spam coming in, you'll get an idea of certain keywords that you can put here to minimize the number of spam comments you get. The next section has to do with avatars that are displayed next to usernames in comments. WordPress uses the Gravatar avatar service, and avatars and profiles are defined through Gravatar. You can choose to display or not display avatars, whether people's profiles will be displayed when someone mouses over their avatar, and maximum rating for avatars. This one's fairly important. If you run a website that is not adult oriented, you should probably keep this at PG maximum. Otherwise, there could be some very naughty avatars pop up on your site, which might dissuade some users from returning. Next, you can define a default avatar for people who have not set an avatar in Gravatar, which is nearly everyone. Finally, since we have Jetpack installed, we can add follow blog and follow comments options at the bottom of the page. The follow blog button will make WordPress send an email to any blog followers when you publish a new post. The follow comments button will make WordPress send an email to comment followers when a new comment is posted in the comments section. These are a good way of involving your readers. If you allow them to be informed of your new content, the more they'll visit your blog. The more they know, the more they'll show. That does it for our discussion settings. We'll finish this chapter in our next video with media, permalinks, and sharing settings.